All right, the moment we've all been waiting for, I guess. Lots of people online calling for Pastor John to respond to the charges, to respond to specifically Julie Royce of the Royce Report writing 48 different articles about Pastor John and Grace Community Church. To this date, John MacArthur hasn't responded. Today he did. Today is May 1st. 2022. My name is Tim, the BTWN guy. If you have not subscribed to this YouTube channel, you should. Please do that. Check out the links in the description of this video for more information about this video that I'm doing and sharing with you and more information about what I do at BTWN. Here we go. John MacArthur responds to online attacks. His passage today from his sermon. We're going to start there. Ephesians chapter 5, excuse me, 4, verses 25 to 32. Again, May 21st is the date, and that's the passage. Now, in the sovereignty of God, it's perfect that Pastor John would be preaching through this passage at this time so that as he's going through this passage, he can address um what's been going on. And in the midst of this passage that he spoke on today is be angry and sin not. And Pastor John talked about how important it is and what it means to be angry and how to be angry and not sin. We don't have the right to be angry at things that come at us. It's very hard to be righteously angry about that because we get our own egos and self-protectiveness caught up in it. There's a man that knows, <laughs> knows his own heart. Well, to a certain extent, I guess there's passages in the Bible that says that no, we, we actually don't know our own heart. Only God knows our hearts. But he's aware of his own tendencies or the tendency of man, men in general to uh, def when they defend themselves, you get all wrapped up in it. So he says, uh, we're not to defend ourselves. But when do we uh, get angry and sin not? And he went on to explain that we do that when God is dishonored and when someone else is mistreated. So <laughs> I believe I've had righteous anger on this YouTube channel Many of you appreciate that because uh, I love Pastor John and most of you do too as well. But then there's many people who watch this content and they do not like Pastor John and they do not like me and nothing's going to change their minds. But I'm reporting today on what Pastor John said and uh, we will continue. He went on to Matthew chapter 5 verses 21 and 22. And he said that anger is the same as murder. So if you don't have righteous anger, it, it, you're in danger. <laughs> you're in danger of hell is what uh, Matthew chapter 5 says. Uh, so Pastor John preaching very clearly what it means to be angry and sin not. <clears throat> we don't have a right to be angry. To revile back to people, even when they falsely accuse us. As I was watching this, I was thinking, is he going to address it? Is he going to address Julie Royce by name? It, um, he doesn't. Uh, is he going to address what's going on? I didn't know for sure, but it, it kind of seemed like he was going to, and, and he does. He turns to Romans chapter 12 uh, and reads <clears throat> uh, verses 14 and 17 to 21. And I want to read those for you because this is what he reads uh, right before he addresses uh, the online attackers. Let me see if I can move this so you can see it too. There we go. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. Repay no one evil for evil, but give thought to do what is honorable in the sight of all. If possible, so far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all. Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave it to the wrath of God. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. 
To the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. For by so doing, you will heap burning coals on his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. And after Pastor John read that, he addressed the online attackers. People have recently been saying to me, you're getting pretty hammered on the Internet. There are people attacking you and assaulting you. Are you going to respond? Yes. The only thing I can say is I want to bless those who persecute me and not curse. I never want to pay back evil for evil to anyone. As much as is possible, as far as it depends on me, I want to be at peace with all men. So you can't pick a fight with me. I'm not going to fight. <laughs> Lots of wisdom. He didn't get this far in ministry without getting a whole lot of wisdom. Pastor John says, I want to bless those who persecute me and not curse. I never want to pay back evil with evil to anyone. I want to be at peace with all men. You can't pick a fight with me. I'm not going to fight. A lot of wisdom. Biblical wisdom, you may say, taking it, taking the high road. The, no critic is going to be satisfied. No critic is going to be satisfied with this. Uh, no hater of John MacArthur is going to be satisfied with this. And uh, they wouldn't be satisfied with anything else he said either. There's no ending. <laughs> uh, this is the best road. I'll just say I'll just I'll just say that because it's biblical. It's biblical. And uh, for those of you who love Pastor John, you'd be like, wait, but Julie Roy, she's like she's slandering Pastor John in article after article after article. And boy, let me tell you, she's got her problems going on right now. Um, a lot of people doing what she suggested and reading her book and listening to her sermons online. Yes, she is a female pastor, not pastor, but preacher. She doesn't attend a local church, but she is restoring the church, she claims. And what about her? What about her? I mean, we, we, we do get angry. And um, righteously anger, anger towards her. Uh, what about that? Pastor John addresses it. But what about the wrong they're doing? Never take your own revenge, beloved, but leave room for the wrath of God, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. You think God doesn't know? You think somebody's getting away with something? Guess again. God keeps those accounts. I don't need to deal with that. I don't need to seek revenge. I don't need to retaliate. I don't need to curse back. I just need to do what Jesus said and commit himself to a faithful creator. Amen. Amen. Tons of wisdom there. God's going to take care of it. God's going to take care of it. And uh, woe to those who are so busy bodied and writing um, against Pastor John. Just terrible, terrible, vicious things. Praise the Lord for Pastor John. Leave your comment below. Leave your comment below. I'll be reading most of them. I read most of them in the first couple of days. Uh, thanks for, if, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. And if you're watching, you're still watching, you uh, appreciate what I'm doing here. So let me encourage you to go to the description of this video. I keep saying this for people to go to the description of this video. So this is a different video. And here's the description. It's right underneath the video. <laughs> underneath, in the description of this video you're watching here, you'll find a link, support BTWN on, on Ko-Fi. And you will find another link that further shows what Pastor John had to say in context. So you can click on that as well. Um, but if you appreciate what I'm doing here, go ahead and click right there on that link 
in the description of the video and it takes you to the page where you can become a member a financial supporter of what's going on here on this youtube channel as well as my other youtube channels and my websites and my network where we have multiple podcasters podcasting all about christianity culture theology all kinds of stuff thanks for watching subscribe if you haven't already i said it again till next video god bless everybody and take care see you